Hello, I'm Jonathan, and welcome again to Marbeck Dairy and Vita Plus is a day in the life of a calf grower. Today we're going to talk about my maternity area and newborn protocols. My maternity area, as you can see behind me, is a group calving area with enough square footage for up to eight cows to be calving at any time. The area has clean straw that's cleaned at least weekly, if not more often. The sanitation here is very important, so weekly or based on the number of calvings, we'll come through, clean out the straw, spray with the sanitizer oxymere, put down fresh lime, and then re-bed the area. Now, for our calving protocol, it says cows or boy and or close-up heifers, as they are about to calve or as close to calving as we can get them. They'll come in through the gates over here to our, well, my left, your right, and it's a double gate. That double gate gets us six feet away from any manure or any other interference. It's important to keep this area sanitized that there's that little bit of a gap fill. Uh, once a newborn, or once a cow comes in, she's given time to calve. Uh, we have a sheet inside that I'll show you here in a second that we'll go through about communication. But if that cow can't calve in a certain amount of time or needs help, we have a huge area in order to assist her. Now, once a cow has calved or been assisted, we have a newborn and she has hit the ground and she is happy to be here. That newborn is important. What we do now will set up her future, at least for the next three weeks as we try to live off passive immunity and even after that, I feel. So what happens to her as she's born? First thing that happens is she's vaccinated and her navel is dipped. The vaccines that we use here are based on the recommendations from our veterinarian. And so I'll let you talk with your own vet, but as for us, we use a Clostridium C and D antitoxin and a, and a calf guard product for Rhoda. Dipping the navel is so important because we need to dry out that navel cord so that no bad bacteria comes up and we also need to take care of any bacteria that managed to get up there during calving. So we use a stronger iodine, 7%, and we try to do that as soon after calving as we can. Okay, so now she's been vaccinated, she's been dipped, she's laying here, and if she's a heifer, she's been tagged. Okay, and that tag has to go on the report, as I'll show you later for communication's sake. But now all that's done, what happens to her now? She'll get a gallon of colostrum uh, within the first four hours of life. That gallon of colostrum for us is a pasteurized colostrum and it measures at least a 24 on the bricks meter. In the winter, she'll actually go through that door there and there's a warming room where she can dry out at 60 degrees and be comfortable during the winter months instead of burning off extra energy trying to warm up and dry out down in the calf barn. But in the summer, on a day like today, she'll be up here until she gets her colostrum feeding, her first one, and then she'll be taken down to her pen into her own little happy world where it's clean. Another important aspect of the maternity area and newborn calf management at this farm is communication. There's no one person that's in charge of our newborn calves or in the maternity pen because not one person would be here 24 seven and work constantly calving. So there's a lot of people to keep informed about what's going on here at the dairy and in the maternity area. One way that we accomplish this is with reports. Uh, we'll write down the cow or the heifer ID that was put in the calving area to freshen, what time she was put in the pen so we can keep track if she needs assistance or not and how long she's been there. Once she's calved, we'll even write down what time she actually calved at. We'll write down how easy was her calving. Uh, that's on a scale of one to five, with one being easy and five being difficult. Whether she had a heifer or a bull. If she had a heifer, what was her new ID, invisible tag that we put in. And then we also take care of was the calf care take, or calf protocol taken care of? So was the navel dipped in time and vaccinations given? So yes, and then today it's by who, so we can even hold accountable the person that did it. Once the calf is fed colostrum, that will also go here, what time it was fed and by who. And then to make sure that the cow was moved to milking, what time she was moved and were treated bands put on, by who. Uh, the report is really simple but it makes a big difference if you're the guy that put the cow in this morning, but the new guy coming this afternoon, he needs to know what time that heifer was put in so he knows if she needs assistance or not, and whether or not all the protocols and colostrum was already fed. 
Um, here at the farm, we do colostrum, like I said, within the first couple hours that gallon, but 12 hours later, we like to follow up with a second gallon. And to make sure that we can track that, we have another report that simply puts the date, the ID of the calf, what time the first feeding was given, and then what time the second feeding was done. So that people can keep track of when the calf was given its colostrum both times and that we know we're done and that they're roughly 12 hours apart. Uh, another important thing in this room though is to point out the ease. Everything right here, the cabinet area is right through this door. So that if you really need to look, you just step out the door, you look, you see what's going on, you write down your records. But also this date and time is here, this clock. This clock is nothing valuable for people. Uh, it's kind of hard to remember what time it is when you just walked out of the party, you're like, oh, or what day it even is. So the date and month are here, the time is always here, and this one even has the, the beauty of a thermometer so that we know what temperature it is out in the winter. So if it's below 32, they know not to put a calf out down in the calf barn too early or if it's below 40 actually. So that's just staying here and dry out.